Hey guys, it's Matt, and I'm back with my Lenovo K900. And uh, a lot of people are interested to see what this uh, Intel Clovertrail Plus processor can do. So I'm going to go through a few benchmarks, and we'll see exactly how this new phone from Lenovo and Intel can stack up against the competition. So this is a uh, Antutu benchmark version 3.3 .3. and we'll just jump right in and give it a spin. Now while this is running um, I can give you a few more specs and information about what's under the hood of this new phone. So it's got a 5.5 inch IPS display running at uh, 1080p it's also got a dual core Atom Z2580 processor running at 2 gigahertz with 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, and that uh, is dual core and it also has hyper threading, so that should help with the performance. It's also got for graphics a PowerVR SGX544 MP2. And as far as the rest of the phone goes, uh, there's Gorilla Glass 2, there's a 13 megapixel camera on the back, a uh, 2 megapixel camera on the front. So it looks like we're about f almost halfway through this test. Now the phone also supports a wide range of um, cellular bands. Uh, it's a penta pentaband device, so it supports all of your standard GSM frequencies uh, 900, 1800, 1900, 2100 so if you're in the US and you're interested this would this will this phone will work fine on AT&T, T-Mobile uh, just pop in your SIM and you're ready to go so looks like we're getting pretty good frame rates there There's some confusion on this phone about its micro SD expansion capabilities and its dual SIM ex capabilities. Uh, I've seen conflicting information on the web. On my device that I got, there's no micro SD slot and it's a single SIM uh, for those that are interested. So it looks like we're at the final stages of the test testing the SD card that being the built-in SD card not expandable and there we go we have our results so the score is 27,447 not bad so let's see if we can get this these numbers uh, compare them to other devices. So there's our score ranking chart. There we go. Bar chart. And there we can see how it stacks up to the competition. We have Our Lenovo K900 right there, 27,447, and then looks like it's beating out the Galaxy S4, Xperia Z, Nexus 4, uh, all the top devices that you all know and love. So for this first benchmark, that's an impressive result. We'll see how it does on the next set of benchmarks. All right, the next benchmark we have is Sun Spider. 0.9.1 which is a JavaScript performance benchmark
And let's let that run and see what we have. All right, and we're done. Let's take a look at how we we did. Let's zoom in here. So we have a score of 749.5, which is very good. And I'll scroll through this so you can see the rest of the results. All right, on to the next one. All right, next on the docket we have is Quadrant. So we'll jump in here and we'll click Run Full Benchmark. And there it goes, starting with the CPU section. Now this test includes CPU, memory, I.O., 2D, and 3D graphics. So. We'll let this run and see what it spits out. All right, looks like it's done. So let's proceed and see how we did. So there are our results, and they look pretty good. Now, I'm not sure how this score compares to uh, some of the other high-end devices that are out. For some reason, this is only showing the One X at the top and there's definitely some more powerful uh, devices out so I'll show the this comparison score to other top devices out there on the uh, on the video when I post it let's move on to the next one alright next we have Velimo and I've run this before, but I'll run it again. It's the HTML5 test. And so, this is loading. Now just to give you some background on Velimo, uh, at least for the HTML5 test, uh, this benchmark is uh, meant to evaluate the mobile web browser performance. And so we had a pretty good score earlier on SunSpider, which is also a similar web browsing uh, related benchmark. So let's see how this one does.
All right. The death test is finally done. Uh, we have a score, 1798. So let's submit that. And let's see how we stack up. So again, let's zoom in here. And let's see how some of these others did. So again, we uh, the other top device we see is the uh, HTC One X. Not sure. Um, again, I'll try to show results comparing to other um, top devices, but seventeen ninety eight is our score. Alright, next we're going to run Velamo Metal. No, no tutorial. So it's running now. And there is our score. We have a score of 718. Let's see how that stacks up. So I'll try to get some uh, other scores published from other popular devices, but on this chart, It's ahead of these devices, but let's see. So if you've made it this far, congratulations. I know it's been long, but uh, I wanted to try to be as thorough as possible in the benchmarks that I showed. Uh, I know I didn't get to focus much on uh, GPU, the GPU side of things. Uh, unfortunately, GL Bench, uh, I couldn't get that to side load, so I'll keep working on that and hopefully be able to post that later. But uh, for the benchmarks that I was able to run, uh, the Lenovo K900 was able to hold its own in the competition. Uh, I would say the performance leader that's available right now today, the Galaxy S4, um, it beat the S4 in a few tests, you know, like Sun Spider and N22, and uh, it was slightly behind on some of the others and it lost pretty badly in Quadrant but again benchmarks are only so much of an indication of how these devices will perform in the real world so uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll be eventually doing a much deeper dive into the device itself and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some root instructions and be able to get this device rooted and get the Google Play Store on there. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.